Hi, I'm going to show you how to make our strawberry magnets today. I'm starting with the strawberry and then I'll show the flower. So first off, gather all your materials and cut out your paper templates. I'm making a red strawberry, so I have the red felt for the strawberry and the green felt for the stem. Let's get started. Trace the paper templates onto the felt using the fabric marker. Trace two strawberry pieces onto the red felt and one stem piece onto the green felt. Next, cut out the pieces that you just traced. To embellish the strawberry, take one strawberry piece and a length of embroidery floss. All of the sewing on this project is done with two plies of embroidery floss. The embellishment of the strawberry is done with lines of running stitches, which end up looking like seeds. The best way to do these running stitches is continuously, instead of taking one stitch at a time, like you normally do. So I'll show you how to do that now. Insert your needle from back to front, and then pull the thread through. Then, insert your needle from front to back, but don't pull the needle through. Instead, you'll reinsert the needle back to front to start the next stitch, and then do it again. Accordion your fabric onto the needle like this until your needle is full, and then pull the thread through. Once again, move the fabric back and forth along the needle to form stitches without pulling the thread through. And when your needle is full, pull the thread through and start again. Repeat this until the strawberry is covered in horizontal lines of running stitches. Then, take a few small stitches in place on the back of the piece without going through the full layer of felt. And then you can snip the end. Now it's time to sew on the stem. Take a length of embroidery floss and the stem and stack the stem on top of the embellished strawberry. Sew the stem on with one straight stitch, and then sew another straight stitch across the first to form a little X. Take a few small stitches in place on the back, and then snip the thread. It's time to sew it all together. Place the embellished strawberry piece on top of the other strawberry piece with their right sides facing out and line them up neatly. You're going to whip stitch the two pieces together. Start at the top of the strawberry and hold the stem out of the way. Insert your needle from back to front through the top layer of felt only to hide the knot. Then moving forward, Insert your needle through both layers of felt from back to front and pull it through. This creates a stitch and wraps the thread around the edge. So once again, from back to front through both layers and pull it through. Back to front, pull it through. Continue whip stitching around the edge until you're three quarters of the way around. Insert the magnet when you get to this point. And then, just keep whip stitching around until you get back to the top of the strawberry. Once you're at the top, remember to hold the stem out of the way as you stitch. And once you've gone all the way around, stitch in place a few times. Then pull your needle through the previous loops and snip the end. The strawberry magnet is all done. Now we're going to sew the strawberry flower. It's a similar process, so we'll move a bit faster. Trace two flower pieces onto the acru felt and one center piece onto the yellow felt, and then cut them out. The center is sewn onto the flower using an applique stitch. 
stack the center piece onto one of the flower pieces. Pull the needle from back to front through both layers and close to the edge of the center piece. Then bring the needle from front to back at the outside edge of the center piece only through the flower piece layer. Keep doing this all the way around the center piece until it's totally sewn on. So once again, from back to front through both layers inside the edge of the center piece and then from front to back just beyond the edge only through the flower layer. Through both layers and now just through the flower layer. Once you've gone all the way around, finish by taking just a few little stitches in place on the back of the flower piece. And then snipping the end. The flower is sewn together with a whip stitch in the same manner as the strawberry. Stack the embellished flower on top of the unembellished flower, right sides facing out. Then sew the two layers together with a whip stitch. Remember to start by coming from back to front on just the first layer to hide the knot. And then just whip stitch around going from back to front, back to front. Keep stitching until you're about halfway around and then insert the magnet. Finish by stitching in place a few times. and then pulling the needle through the loops of the previous stitches. Snip the thread end, and you're all done.